CBS Atlanta is always looking for ways to save you money, and in this economy right now, more people are turning to consignment stores. Yes, that would be me. And there is one <laughs> consignment event happening in Gwinnett County that some call the Super Bowl of consignment sales. It's happening at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds in Lawrenceville, and uh, for many volunteers who got to shop early, it was a touchdown. He's um, the best dressed eight-year-old <laughs> in town because I buy all of his things here. Glenda Bryant is shopping for her eight-year-old grandson. Her cart overfloweth and her bank account will too. How much would you say this would cost you if you were to go to a traditional store? Well, over a thousand dollars and I probably have about 300 here. At first glance, it's almost overwhelming. Thousands of pieces of clothing, toys, books and bikes at a fraction of retail. We, we call it Gwinnett's best kept secret that's not so much a secret anymore. <laughs> Jerry Lynn Cunningham started Kid Signment out of her garage 15 years ago. It's now the largest consignment event in the southeast, taking over this 30,000 square foot space at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds. And you save so much money buying it here at about 25 to 33 percent off retail. The appeal is obvious. Jerry Lynn showed me what I could have paid for my own boy's school clothes. Eight-year-old. He Eight -year -old. said he was... Uh, He's a 12. Okay. We've got shirts here. Four dollars, five dollars and fifty cents for a Ralph Lauren polo. Brand new, five dollars and fifty cents. So wow. how, how much should you pay now? Twenty. Okay, so about 75% off. Yeah, no, I don't Let's think see. you'd like the tie-dye pajamas. Yeah, maybe right not. That looks like maybe a science part. But for $2. $2. <laughs> He might have to wear them whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Seller signed up for this event way back in June, and there is an extensive waiting list. She says in this economy, both buyers and sellers need this. It's desperate times for a lot of people. And yes. so when you're looking at that waiting list, what's going through your mind? I pray that God will give me the right uh, action to take for the right individuals that he knows needs to be here. As for Glenda Bryant, it looks like she's going to need another cart. 